We got someone who was into the resets all the
Okay, you just you just start and go, right? Yeah. Thank you. 
have arrived and we are going to be starting very shortly so please take your seat so we can begin. special infrastructure announcement from the provincial and federal governments about the Tamil Community Center. Welcome to Scarborough Rouge Park. I think we must be in the most northeast corner of the city of Toronto. But more importantly, the land we are standing on today is the traditional territory of many nations, including the Mississaugas of the Credit, the Anishinaabek, the Chippewa, the Haudenosaunee, and the Wendat peoples, and is now home to many diverse First Nations Inuit and Métis. We also acknowledge that Toronto is covered by Treaty 13, signed with the Mississaugas of the Credit and the Williams Treaties signed with multiple Mississaugas and Chippewa bands. Over the last two years, we have learned about the Indigenous history of 311 Stains Road, thanks to working closely with the Huron-Wendat and the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation. We are grateful for their time their friendship and their wisdom as we work together to make this a successful project for everyone. Today we are joined by many dignitaries, but I want to point out our speakers today. The Honorable Christia Freeland, Deputy Prime Minister and Federal Finance Minister. The Honorable Bill Blair, Federal Minister of Public Safety and Emergency Preparedness on behalf of the Honorable Catherine McKenna, Federal Minister of Communities and Infrastructure. The Honorable Mary Inn, Federal Minister of Small Business, Export Promotion and International Trade. Gary Anandasangri, Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Crown Indigenous Relations and Member of Parliament for Scarborough Rouge Park. The Honorable Doug Ford, Premier of Ontario. The Honorable Kenya Therma, Ontario's Minister of Infrastructure. Vijay Fanny Gaslam, Parliamentary Assistant to the Minister of Transportation and member of Provincial Parliament for Scarborough Rouge Park. Logan Ganabadi, member of Provincial Parliament for Markham Thornhill. His Worship, John Tory, Mayor of the City of Toronto. And then we have the City Council for Scarborough Rouge Park. We're also joined by a number of provincial ministers and elected officials for Scarborough and, and the GTA from all levels of government. I'd also like to take this opportunity to recognize the Board of Directors for the Tamil Community Center. Pamela Kaviswaran, Dr. Ramanathan Lumbavaran, Vidhu Ramachandran, Nedra Rodrigo, Dr. Vadivelu Sandhakumar, Nidhan Shan, and our board chair, Siva Vimalachandran. I'd also like to recognize the 120 Tamil organizations that have endorsed this project. Thank you for seeing the potential it will have for all the people of Scarborough and for the work they do in our community. The rain has passed, and the province is in stage three of reopening, which means we can gather for an outdoor limit of 100 people. I guess we are the first event 
like this in quite some time. Some housekeeping business before we get into remarks. While we're here today, I ask you to respect physical distancing of six feet as best as we can. Wearing masks is strongly encouraged, especially when you're not able to maintain physical, physical distancing or when mingling. Don't have a mask? There's one at the table where you entered. Hand, san hand, is hand sanitizer is also available. For members of the media, after the speaking portion of this announcement, there will be a photo op with the speakers. There's no formal Q&A at the podium, but the Deputy Prime Minister and the Premier will hold scrums following the event. You can speak to their staff about that. You're also available to approach any of the speakers for interviews after the announcement. Okay, to kick off today's announcement, I'd like to introduce our Member of Parliament for Scarborough Rouge Park, Gary Anand Sangri. When it comes to Gary, everyone in the Tamil community knows they can count on him. Well-respected and dependable. This is because he's blazed a path for a lot of leaders in the Tamil community. He's the person we all call on when we need advice or some encouragement. So it's not only been fantastic to have his support for this project, but as a board, as spearheading this project, we've been incredibly lucky to have his personal guidance. Gary. Good morning, everyone. Thank you, Ketana, for those very kind words. I would um, like to begin by acknowledging that we're gathered here on the traditional lands of many indigenous nations, and most recently, uh, the Mississaugas of the Credit. We continue to mourn the loss of generations of children because of residential schools, and we reflect today on the recent findings on, of unmarked graves across Canada. As Tamil Canadians, we recognize the unique responsibility that we hold to express our solidarity and to ensure that we work towards the path of reconciliation. I'm delighted to welcome Minister Christian Freeland, Deputy Prime Minister to Scarborough Rouge Park, Mr. Bill Blair, who needs no introduction in Scarborough, Mr. Mary Ying, uh, our friend from Markham Unionville, Markham Thornhill rather, and my good friend Salma Zahid from Scarborough Centre, as well as Francesca Sorbera, representing Juan Woodbridge. Welcome, Premier, and good to see you, MPP Vijay Panigasala, and all the provincial colleagues that are here today. His Worship, the Mayor of the City of Toronto, welcome back. Uh, Mayor, you've been here as a mayor more times than I could, I could recall, and I welcome you back, as well as uh, Dr. Jennifer McKelvey, and all your colleagues from City Council. And to all those members of the Tamil Community Centre and all community members present today, what an incredible day for us to celebrate together. This is a milestone moment for the Tamil community. On days like this, I remember my late father-in-law, Nagaratnam Sivalinkam, who arrived in Canada in 1967 to pursue his studies. That generation but foundations that has allowed us to succeed. They built community organizations, the two Tamil co-ops on Wade Avenue and Mississauga, and they advocated for special measures program that allowed over 1800 Tamils to resettle in Canada after the anti-Tamil program in 1983. Over these last six decades, this community has grieved together, fought together, and have been resilient in protecting the Tamil community, Canadian identity. The foundational issue for this community is the Tamil language, an ancient language that is taught in neighborhoods across the greater Toronto area. This was recently elevated to the University of Toronto Scarborough campus with the establishment of the new Tamil chair in Tamil studies. Coupled with language is the importance of countless traditional arts, such as Bharatanatyam, Karnataka music, Mirdangam, that allow our youth to have a deeper understanding of their culture. While this community grew and persevered, we've also faced enormous loss that brought waves of Tamil refugees to Canada and on and boats as well, including in 1986, 2009, and 2010. The needs of the Tamil community continue to grow, which includes supports for mental health, counseling, youth, seniors, members of the LGBTQ plus community, women, and those with disabilities. The need to remember those who perished in the Tamil genocide and the need for survivors to gather and mourn has been a constant unfulfilled need. 
I want to underscore the significance of what this space means to the community in the context of the numerous times we've been denied space or have had to undergo hurdles to obtain space. I want to share with you some of my personal challenges in securing space for community events. I know many here can do the same. I once had to send a letter to a local community center for canceling a permit, which they soon reinstated. When we organized a panel discussion at the Law Society of Ontario, one of the highest places where the rule of law prevails, I was asked if there would be protests. My first, one of my first events as an MP at, uh, in Parliament Hill, I was actually denied the right to have the first Tamil Heritage Month event initially, and then I had to fight back. These are some of the highlights, and this is the reality for many organizers who for many, many years have not been able to access public space. So my sincere hope is that the Tamil Community Center will bring together all of these elements to support the language, nurture the culture, support the needs of the community, and provide a safe and inclusive space to remember and reflect and a place to unify. Today, we start a new chapter in our collective history as Tamil Canadians. The Tamil Community Center will come the nexus to the Tamil community and to our non-Tamil friends to learn from each other. I feel like I'm waking up from a dream this morning. This is not just my dream, but that of Tamil Canadians across generations, across faiths, to be united under one roof. And while we don't have to agree on everything, we can agree on one thing, the collective need of this community to have a community center. Today, we look to our children, and for me, it's Bhairavi and Sahana who are, who are sitting there. And I want to say to them, and to the other children who are gathered here and watching live, that this center is for your generation and generations after you. It may have taken generations to get here, but today we are going to leave a legacy for our collective future. I have to take this opportunity to acknowledge the many people that have been part of this project. And first and foremost, let me begin by thanking the Tamil Community Center team led by Kirtana and Siva for their extraordinary work in getting us to this day. They have persevered under enormous odds and brought together over 120 organizations. They have a solid plan, a great team, and a relentless drive to get this done. And I want to thank each and every one of them and their families for their sacrifices and dedication to get us here today. Just remember, you have an entire community behind you and you have a country behind you as well. My provincial colleagues, and I want to thank the premier, uh, my colleague Vijay Thanigasalam, Logan Kanapadi, and the many ministers and MPPs that are here. I want to thank you for your personal support and engagement on this. Mayor Tory, I don't know, um, I don't know how to say this, but uh, I don't think we would be here if it weren't for you. Uh, and I know a project like this takes so many people, but if I were to point to one person who was the glue to this, and it, it would be you. Many years ago, many years ago, I know you have many people asking for space and for community space. Many years ago, you made a promise and you promised to this community. And you also, made a call and you, say, you asked us to unite, you asked us to come together as one and make this request. And when that happened, you came through. I wanna thank you for your leadership. And of course, my good friend, Jennifer McKelvey, who is your city councilor for this area and who's done a remarkable job in spearheading this. I need to thank the prime minister for his endearing support of the Tamil community, Minister Catherine McKenna and her incredible team of Paul Hershaw, Dan Turner, Nathan Besner, Lindsay Hunter and Adam Carroll, who collectively worked for the past two years, um, you know, with constant phone calls from myself and Kirtana and many others uh, to get this through. So I want to really thank them. Of course, we will miss Mr. McKenna. I want to thank Ms. Scarborough colleagues. We in Scarborough are united as members of parliament. We have six that represent this area. And with uh, the Honorable Bill Blair, John McKay, Salma Zahid, Sean Chen and Jean Yip, we are one team and we work very hard for all infrastructure projects in Scarborough and we will continue to do so on your behalf. I need to thank my, my team, 
Joshua, David, Wally, Daranya, Kimsha, Anita, Ella, and Darani, who is uh, here from you know, Mark Collins' office for their work and all the volunteers today for putting this together. We rarely get a chance to do this, and I'm so incredibly proud of the work of our federal ministerial staff of Tamil descent, whose input I valued during this process. And it is uh, my duty to recognize them today. And that includes Doreen Sander Nayagam, who's the Ontario advisor for Minister Mendicino, Mehalin Gurnanidi, who's a senior policy advisor for Minister Blair, Gautam Gurusami, who's a senior advisor to Minister Haidu, Chandran Sambasivam, I believe he's here today, who's the advisor to Minister Freeland and Vandana Qatar, who's the Director of Outreach for the Prime Minister. With that, it is my absolute delight and privilege to welcome Canada's Deputy Prime Minister, Minister of Finance, and a dear friend of the Tamil community to share her remarks with us today. I had the pleasure of working with Minister Freeland closely during her tenure as Foreign Affairs Minister. I've never seen anyone take more copious notes than her. Every time we met, she was jotting every single word down. She'd had the opportunity to meet with many members of this community and understand the long-standing need for accountability in Sri Lanka. And she directly expressed our government's position at both the Commonwealth Head of Government meeting and the United Nations Human Rights Council. It's my pleasure to invite Minister Freeland to, to say a few words today on behalf of the government of Canada. Minister. I would have given you a hug, Gary, but I think we're not supposed to do that yet. Um, uh, so hello everyone, bonjour. Uh, thank you very much, Gary, for your kind introduction. And you know, as Gary said, um, we got to know each other and worked most closely together when I was foreign minister. Uh, and Gary was such a champion of the Tamil Canadian community and of the treatment of Tamils and really taught me so much uh, and played such a central role in shaping our government's position. And I'm really grateful to you, Gary, for that. And since then, we've worked together on so many issues, including as fellow members of the Toronto Caucus. Uh, so I'd like to begin by acknowledging that the land on which this announcement is taking place is the traditional territory of the Wendat, the Anishinaabe, Udinoshone, and the Mississaugas of the New Credit First Nation. I am so happy to be here today making this announcement on behalf of Catherine McKenna, the Minister of Infrastructure and Communities. And there are so many of my colleagues with us today. It's great to be here with Bill Blair, uh, Minister of Public Safety. It's great to be here with Mary Ng, Minister of Small Business and Trade. It is great to be here with Premier Ford, sometimes known as my therapist. Uh, it is great to be here with Kinga Surma, Ontario's Minister of Infrastructure. Uh, Raymond Cho, the Minister for Seniors and Accessibility. Uh, MPP VJ Fanigasalam, our mayor, my mayor, John Tory, uh, and he's also my constituent, so I have to take his calls with particular urgency. Uh, Councillor Jennifer McKelvey, uh, Ms. Siva Vimala Chandran, who is the chair of the board of directors of the Tamil Community Center. And I am so glad to be here to announce today that the federal government will be providing $14.3 million for the construction of the Tamil Community Center. Um, as you will have gathered from that roll call of politicians that I have just offered you, that Gary offered you, this has been at the government level, a real Team Canada effort, an example of the federal government the province of Ontario, the city of Toronto working together. And I really believe Canada works best when the three of us are able to work together. But first and foremost, the announcement that we're making 
here today and the magnificent center that is going to be built. That is a tribute to and the fruit of the work of so many people here today, the Tamil Canadian community. And, you know, dear Tamil Canadians, you should be so proud of what you have accomplished. You should be so proud of what you have accomplished in Canada. I hope all the Tamil Canadians here recognize that with the federal government, the provincial leadership, the city leadership here today, we are recognizing the importance of the Tamil Canadian community. And that is a recognition that I know you have built and earned through, as Gary said, generations of really hard work. Congratulations. And it is really, really wonderful. Uh, I also just want to say, you know, if I could say something very personal. Um, I'm Ukrainian Canadian. I grew up in Northern Alberta. And I know so clearly how hard my community had to work to build community organizations and community centers to be able to simultaneously preserve our culture, remember our history, and also take our place as part of vibrant multicultural Canada. And centers like the one that we are announcing today are absolutely foundational for a community to be able to do that. Gary spoke about the importance of the Tamil language. This center is gonna help with that. Gary spoke about the importance of remembering your history including really tragic episodes. This center will help with that. And this center is gonna give you a place to continue to build on all the work the community has done. So congratulations. It's really a privilege for me and for our government to, I would say, just be a small part of the huge work that the community has done. This is going to be a fantastic facility. It will have a large gym, outdoor playing fields where people can play soccer, baseball, maybe even some cricket. Uh, it will be a hub for Tamil music and dance. There'll be an auditorium for performances, a museum, which I know will be very important to you, and a library. Uh, I love libraries. I hope I can come visit, although I'm gonna admit the Tamil language section of it is gonna be beyond me. Je suis ici aujourd'hui pour annoncer que le gouvernement fédéral accordera plus de 14,3 millions de dollars pour la construction du centre communautaire Tamil. La réalisation de ce projet a été une erreur pan canadien. Cela inclut non seulement les différents ordres du gouvernement, mais aussi les membres de la communauté tamoule et les gens d'ici à Scarborough. Ce sera un centre polyvalent fantastique. Les centres communautaires comme celui-ci renforcent non seulement nos communautés, mais aussi nos économies locales. Our government's recovery plan is very much a plan for an inclusive recovery. We're investing to create jobs and growth across Canada, including here in Scarborough. We are making investments in community center programming, in community centers, in community festivals, in programs for small businesses, and to support entrepreneurs from racialized and underserved communities. I want to talk about one effort of our recovery plan that is particularly important to me, and that is the historic investments that we are making in early learning and childcare. These are going to help all parents, especially mothers, participate in the workforce and support their families, and they will ensure that all children have the very best start in life. This center, which we are announcing today, will be a safe space where members of the Tamil community and the broader Scarborough and Toronto community 
can have access to inclusive community, educational, and recreational services. Who knows? Maybe there will end up being a daycare center here too. Our government has always supported the Tamil community and we recognize the contributions you have made to Canada. In Canada, we all know that our diversity is our strength and it has been a long-standing desire and a key position of Canada to advance peace and reconciliation, political stability, and crucially, human rights and government accountability in Sri Lanka. Recent allegations of harassment of Tamils are very concerning. We continue to call on the government of Sri Lanka to establish a process of accountability, that the commitments made to its people are fulfilled, and that human rights for all of the people of Sri Lanka are protected and respected. Our government has a long record of advocacy for peace, reconciliation, and accountability for Tamils. The Tamil community and the, Ta the Tamil Canadian community can continue to count on our government to use our voice on the international stage, whether we are at the United Nations or other venues. When I was foreign minister, it was a privilege for me to represent all Canadians on the world stage, very much including Tamil Canadians. And I know that Minister Garneau feels exactly the same way. Je tiens à vous remercier de m'accueillir aujourd'hui. Thank you very much for your welcome. And what an exciting day. What a great announcement to be a part of. Thank you, Deputy Prime Minister. And thank you for all the federal government support for our community over the years and for caring for all newcomers to Canada. I now like to introduce member of provincial parliament for Scarborough Rouge Park, Vijay Thanigaswa. There is a whole new generation of young leaders coming up in the Tamil community. Vijay is one of those people. A lot of younger Tamils are looking up to him as a source of inspiration. So it means a lot to us to have his support for this project to make sure other young people in the Tamil community have the same opportunities to be our leaders. Vijay. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. It is great to be gathering in person again for this truly remarkable and historic announcement. I'm pleased to be here today alongside Premier Ford, Minister Sarma, and MPP Kanapati. I also want to acknowledge Minister Raymond Cho, Minister Stephen Lecce, and Minister Rod Phillips. With them, I would like to acknowledge MPP Christina Myers, MPP Aris Babikian, and MPP Sharik Sabave. Thank you for being here. I want to thank Minister Freeland, Minister Blair, Minister Nang, and His Worship, Mayor John Tory, for being here today for this important announcement. I have the privilege of serving the residents of Scarborough Rouge Park along my federal and municipal counterparts, MP Gary Anandisangari and Councillor Jennifer McKelvey, who are here today with us. I also want to acknowledge all the federal, provincial, and municipal elected officials who are here today. Welcome everyone to Scarborough Rouge Park. This day wouldn't be possible without the members of the Tamil Community Steering Committee led by Keetana and Siva, who I know have worked tirelessly on this project. I also want to welcome all the media here today who play a key role in getting the message to all other residents in Scarborough and across the province. I'm excited to share the first ever in Canadian history, a Tamil Community Center will be built and I'm extremely excited. It will be right here in Scarborough Rouge Park. The Tamil Community Center has been a dream for the local community here in Scarborough. When I was door knocking back in 2018, I heard from many residents, especially in this neighborhood, that there, there was a lack of access for recreational activities and resources for the community. 
And as a local representative, I see the need for a space to provide services and activities for seniors, children, youth, and families. When the Tamil community members and the steering committee approached, I immediately knew this was a project I should champion and advocate to make it a reality for my residents. As a young community member grew up in Scotland and organized many events, I always wished that there were facilities where local community members can gather, host events, and take part in recreational activities. I'm excited to see its proposed features in this community center, such as an auditorium, library space, gym, outdoor playing fields, museum, and other multi-purpose spaces. I know how important this is to the Tamil community and other ethnic communities living in Scarborough and beyond. Whether it, be, whether it be passing the Bill 104, Tamil Genocide Education Week, or approving the funding for the Tamil Community Center, Premier Doug Ford and the Ontario government have again demonstrated our commitment to standing with all Ontarians, including Tamil Ontarians. I want to take this time and take this opportunity to thank Premier Ford and my colleagues for their support in passing of Bill 104 the Tamil Genocide Education Week and the acknowledgement of Tamil Genocide here in Ontario. Before I invite Premier Ford to announce the funding, I just want to say a few words in Tamil. Canada Wal Tamil Makalin, Nunda Hala Kanawa Hayden, the Tamil Samuka Mayataka, Arasangam Nidhi Walangwada Harikum Itarnate, Nan Ungaludan Kudi Ripadil, Permayum. Mangalchi Madeire. Columbia in the Canada Kuanda. Ula Tamalaya now. Ingu Emel Walway, Amit the Kolvadil, Aram Batil Perum, Saval Hale, Eden Wonderno. Iravu Pagal Parad. Kudumbatil, Iruvaram, Irand Velegal Saibu. In the Natakana Varia Chaliti. Kudumbatai Paramanita Ade Vere. Emel the Pulagalai Padik, Padit, Avargal or Siranda Kalvi, Kalvi Il Siranda Vargalaga. Urua Kralak, Arum Pad Patrundo. In the Amayim, Tamil Samuka Mayatin, Samo Mayamanad, Canada Wal Tamil Makalin, Kanavu Matumandri, Canada Tamil Makalin, Kadina Ulaipu Mahu. On the Kadina Ulaipuke, Kadakindra, Pradi Pranavatan, Nan in the Tamil Samu Mayata Patra. Skabrovil, Tamil Samukatil or Ulaimana Havaland, in the Samuta Nudeya, Turandu Painita Oruan, Undra Murai. In the Samu Maya Manadu, Ipagudil Wal Mudior Galaku, Ilayor Galaku, Ovala Mukri to Manade, Wind them by the Nan Nangari. In a Ungal Ungal in Pradini Diaga Baitu, Ontario Satasabaiko, Ama Anipi Baitu, Ungal in Kadina Ulaikai Balangi, in the Tamil Samuha Mayatine, Uruaka, Tuna Indra, Ungal Anivaraku, Tamil Makalaku, Ilayor Galaku. Udior Galaka, Tamil Samuga Mayatin Pulavina Galakum, in a Nandre Territical Way. Tamil Samuga Mayam, Maya Matatumala, Tamil Samuga Mayat Matamalam, Tamil Ina Alipu Arivia Kilame, Utio Purma Arivit, other in Nirevet to other two, Mudu Palama Hirunda, Otulaita, Ontario Mulver, Duckport over Galakum. Ontario. Amateur Galanavarikum, Ontario Lilla, Anit Satamanda Urupina Halikum, Inda Ratil, another Nandre Territical Grade. Ubulabu Arasia Talavarical in drink a foodie, Iripa than Badu, Tamil Makal in Palatai, Tamil Makal in Kadina Ulepak in Kadita, Vetria Me Kana Padagra. I'm truly proud to be a part of a government that is delivering for the people of Scarborough and all Ontarians. Congratulations to everyone who worked incredibly hard to get this project approved and moving. And I look forward to joining you all again soon once the Tamil Community Centre is built. Just a quick story. When I first got elected in 2018, I remember speaking with the Premier Ford and he told me, Vijay, we got to do something for those great people of Scarborough. And he promised me he not only visit my riding, but we would be doing a podium announcement. Well, 
I can say, Premier, promise made, promise kept. Thank you, Premier, for your support and commitment to building Scarborough. And we are truly appreciative of you being here today for this great announcement for the Tamil Community Center. Now it is my honor and distinct pleasure to welcome the people's champion, Premier Doug Ford. Thank you so much for that kind introduction, uh, VJ. And talk about uh, champions. There's one right there uh, for fighting for the, the Tamil community and getting this done. So this, this is great, first of all, to be out in Scarborough and be out with a lot of great friends from the Tamil community. And I know they've been introduced uh, many times already, but I'm, I'm just going to run through uh, the, the team here again. Uh, we have Minister Surma, King of Surma, VJ, as you just heard. From and uh, Logan Kenapathy, Stephen Lecce, Christina Midas, Eris Babakian, and Raymond Cho, Rod Phillips, and Sharif Sabawe. You know, folks, we, we do a lot of announcements, uh, and it's every single week. And I've never seen so many elected officials in one area in my entire life. You know, we, I think we have 10 from the province, we have a whole bunch uh, from the federal government and the, and the uh, city. And it's great to see you, uh, Christia. It's, uh, what I, I consider Christia a, a really good friend. Spent a lot of time working through this pandem pandemic, and I'm just so grateful for our friendship. And again, Mayor Tory, thank you. you you've been a, not only a mentor, uh, you've been there. I call you the senior statesman. It has nothing to do with your age, but you're a senior statesman. <laughs> <laughs> and look, honestly, he, he's really helped me uh, uh, get, have a lot of guidance throughout this this pandemic. Um, Siva, thank you for your leadership and your whole team's leadership. Uh, Siva is the the chair of the the board of directors for the Tamil Community Center, and this is this is an absolute uh, incredible project. So today, I'm I'm so proud to announce that the Ontario is Ontario government is investing nearly twelve million dollars to support the construction of the Cam, uh, Tamil Community Center. I'm a big proponent of uh, community centers, and I've said that to our caucus right across the province. Nothing pulls a community together more than a community center. And it's used for so many different area, uh, things, but one is called a gathering place, a place that people can come and bring their family and bring their friends and just get together. And I know uh, the other speakers mentioned some of the great things, no matter if it's a library or a uh, gym and God knows, BJ, I got to get out to the gym pretty soon now and playing fields and everything else, the recreational center. And this is this is great. Now, folks, I, I, I got to mention that this is uh, and I've, I haven't seen this in probably a decade, a couple decades being in, in politics, three levels of government. I don't know, Christy, you, you mentioned it, uh, you know, and I just want to elaborate on, on what uh, uh, the deputy uh, prime minister mentioned. Uh, you've, you've seen this over and over again throughout this pandemic. It's a Team Canada approach. It's a Team Ontario approach and, and right across this province. And let's use uh, Scarborough as an example. There's so many projects that we've worked collaboratively with Meritori and the federal government and the, and the province. And, you know, no matter if it's uh, from investing in the YMCA community hub in Bridletown uh, to an expanded Chinese cultural center and agent court, and of course, uh, and this couldn't have been done without the three levels of government, is a historic investment in the Scarborough subway. And we wrote uh, a few weeks ago with Mayor Tory with the shovels in the ground. And that's just the beginning on the Scarborough subway. I've always said for, for years, uh, Scarborough was a forgotten city. It's no longer the forgotten city. I've never seen so much love from three levels of government as I've seen uh, over, over the last number of, of years. And to my friends in the Tamil community, I want to thank you uh, from the bottom of my heart. I remember from day one, you supported my brother Rob, you supported myself and our families forever, ever grateful uh, for what uh, you've done with our, our family. And I just want to give back. And I can't wait to be here and get the shovels on the ground and celebrate and uh, most importantly, have fun uh, with, the, with the community. So thank you and uh, God bless each and every one of you. And again, I appreciate all the organizers. Take care, everyone. Have a great week and a safe weekend. Thank you.
Thank you, Premier, and thank you for your government support for all Ontario's communities and for your personal support for this project in particular. I'd now like to introduce our councillor for Scarborough Rouge Park, Jennifer McKelvey. Councillor McKelvey has been a tremendous supporter of the Tamil community in her ward and for this project. She or her staff are at every meeting we have with the city or Indigenous communities, and she's always offered her support to move things along at City Hall. She has made this project a personal priority, and we are incredibly grateful. Councillor McKelvey? And thank you so much, Trishana, for the kind introduction and the opportunity to be with you here today. It's an absolute honor to be here as we celebrate this wonderful occasion alongside my counterpart in Ottawa, MP Gary Nandesangri, and my counterpart at Queen's Park, Vijay Thanigaslam. It's also so nice to welcome all of the dignitaries here to our home of Scarborough Rouge Park, especially Deputy Prime Minister Freeland and Premier Ford. Now, I won't mention everyone else, but I will give a special shout out to my neighbors, MPP Mitzi Hunter and MPP Raymond Cho. Likewise, it is so absolutely delightful that I'll be able to introduce to you Mayor John Tory, who I can tell you is a big fan of the Tamil community and is truly committed to improve access to vital services in Scarborough. But before they, we, I do that, I'd like to use my time to congratulate the Board of Directors for the Tamil Cultural Centre on their incredible efforts to reach the stage and their successful advocacy to bring together all three levels of government. Importantly, the Board of Directors behind this project engaged a variety of stakeholders and gathered information from community members and organizations with diverse mandates to scope the project. Through a community access agreement, the new facility will also be accessible to the local community, which is home to a large number of new immigrant families, single parent households, and individuals experiencing socioeconomic barriers. Thank you so much to the Board of Directors for caring about Scarborough. The City of Toronto's motto states, diversity is our strength. And here in Scarborough, we live, learn from, and celebrate that diversity in our neighborhoods, schools, and places of worship every single day. Tamil Torontonians have contributed a great deal to our community, not only by sharing their rich culture, but also by starting businesses, raising families, and dedicating many, many volunteer hours to local organizations and causes. The Tamil Community Centre will create a centralized hub for programming and services, but more notably, it will help to underscore the importance of the Tamil community within the fabric of our city and serve as a welcoming, and safe space for residents of all ages. I'd like to again thank my MP Gary Nandesangri in particular for his efforts on this and for everything that he's taught me about the Tamil community over our past seven years of friendship. In addition, because he is such a humble guy, I also wanna take this opportunity to give him a big congratulations for his hard work on human rights and in particular in the federal government's recent signing on to the UN Declaration of Indigenous Human Rights. And as a descendant of First Nations, this is particularly important to me. So I'd like to take this opportunity to recognize and thank him for that. And again, I'd like to thank the Board of Directors for all of their hard work. I look so forward to the many positive impacts the center will have on our Scarborough community. It is now my pleasure to introduce Mayor John Tory, who's been a true champion of this project from the very beginning, as you heard. And he will share with you Toronto's commitment and contribution to the Tamil Cultural Centre. And that included getting it across the finish line to bring us to the land we're standing on today, which will be this site. Well, Jennifer, thank you. And I want to come to everybody. Good morning. And uh, I won't acknowledge all of the uh, people who are here this morning, but I should acknowledge the presence of our Premier, uh, Doug Ford, and of our Deputy Prime Minister, Christopher Freeland, and the local uh, representatives, Jennifer, uh, Gary, and BJ, who have themselves not just uh, spearheaded and championed this project, but uh, on an ongoing basis, I can assure you, for this part of the city that I'm privileged to, uh, to, to be mayor, uh, have, have championed uh, this part of the city. And we are 
we are doing a lot together. You know, we're doing a lot together uh, on transportation in particular, on housing. And I've just been, been at announcement after announcement where we're working all three of us together, proving what can be done uh, when we work together. Um, and uh, we have a little work left to do on the healthcare front to make sure we get some new hospital facilities for Scarborough, but that's a work in progress. Uh, and this, this is a step forward. This is one of those days I actually feel good because it's not money uh, that the other governments are giving to the city of Toronto. They're giving it to uh, a well-deserving uh, community in the city to play such an important role in the life of our city. Um, we, uh, as a city, uh, are marking a contribution of about $25 million because it's represented by the value of this land. Uh, that we're contributing uh, and it's being contributed on the basis of the city will continue to own it but it will be uh, leased uh, in perpetuity to the Tamil community for one dollar a year plus HST. You've always kind of mentioned that. <laughs> now I will tell you from my past experience as, uh, as a volunteer commissioner and chair of the CFL, the Canadian Football League, I was supposed to get a dollar a year for that. I'm not sure about the HST part. Never got the dollar a year for the nine years but uh, nonetheless so it may be that the government won't get the HST and we won't get the rent but it doesn't matter. We're going to have a great community center here and the rent doesn't matter, but it is a way in which the city could contribute. I remember attending the very first town hall that talked about the possibility of a community center with about 30 different Tamil organizations. And I gave them the best advice that I could give, which is really no different than we give ourselves as governments, which is that if they could work together, that we could make this happen. If they could work together, we could make this happen. And I knew that it wasn't an easy task, but I also knew with this community that it was going to be successful. And so when they came through the very same groups, I think it's now up to 100 different groups, uh, through uh, unity and through strength and determination and ready with the answers, exactly what you'd expect from the Tamil community, then it was easy for the governments to answer the call because the hard work of pulling together that notion of what this would be, the dream of what this would be, the kind of relative location in which it should be, and how the Tamil community would make its own financial contribution over time, when that work was done, then it was easy for us to get behind it. And we all knew, I will say, speak for the city, but I know I can for the other governments to say we all wanted to be a part of this. And so we got to work and we identified a location. And uh, in October of 2020, the Toronto City Council directed the staff to enter into the lease agreement to enable the board of directors to uh, move ahead knowing they had a place uh, for this community center. And uh, it cleared the way for what will now come in terms of something that is gonna enhance the quality of life and the well-being not just of the Tamil Torontonians, but of everybody, because one of the unique things about this, uh, this community center, consistent with how we do things in this country and in this city, is that this uh, center is going to be accessible to all members of the community. Yes, there'll be times and there'll be aspects of it that we very much focus on our, our wonderful Tamil community, but it will be accessible as well to the local community, which is itself home to a large number of uh, fam families, including newcomers to Canada and others that have a single parent household and people who sometimes have barriers to the kinds of activities that we know uh, produce healthy communities and healthy families. And it's going to as well increase the amount of uh, recreational space and space for activities like that uh, in Scarborough, which is important. But as well, as was mentioned uh, by the Deputy Prime Minister, I think there's, there are going to be things here uh, that are going to celebrate and acknowledge the Tamil culture, which is such a unique culture. I've learned more about the Tamil language being one of the classical languages in all the world, as, as uh, evidenced by the fact it's honored by a chair at the U of T Scarborough campus and many, many other things. I'll say one more thing, and I don't want to, uh, to, to put a somber note on this, but I think it's important. I think that uh, when I, I'm just being honest with you, when I walked into this field today, the first thing I thought of was that when I went with Nathan Shan to Mullibakal, and it was a field not unlike this, and, and I suppose in that sense, a piece of land not unlike the land adjacent to some of the residential schools where it was just a piece of land and there were rocks and there was grass around and so on. And yet what had happened on that piece of land were unspeakable atrocities and injustices perpetrated on Tamil people. And, and, and we still have to work as a country as I heard the Deputy Prime Minister committing herself to do, to make sure that we, not just Tamil Canadians, but all Canadians press for accountability and for justice because it's not yet been received. And I just want you to know that I think this, this community centre and the place on which it stands will be something that reminds us of that moral obligation that we have to our fellow the Canadians who are of Tamil origin. And, and uh, you know, the blessing out of all of that, if there ever could be such a thing, was that many people ended up coming here as refugees uh, to join our country. And since then, as I've said many, many times, yes, it's a community of great enterprise. Yes, it's a community of great contribution to politics and to 
uh, to every aspect of life in this country. But I always say the best thing about the Tamil uh, Canadian people that I've seen is that they're the greatest parents I've ever seen. And you know, what job do we all have that is more important than bringing up children who are good people, become good people? And the Tamils are people that are a model uh, when it comes to uh, to being uh, good parents as well as being good citizens and good business people and all of that. And I think this community center will be a place where we're reminded of that. May I just say thank you to the other two governments, to Premier Ford, because I know his personal leadership was not with, with, without that, we wouldn't have had this. And he worked with BJ and all of the others to make this happen with the Minister Sermon and your predecessors. Uh, the same to Prime Minister Trudeau through you, Deputy Prime Minister. I just know uh, that without their personal involvement, Premier Ford and Prime Minister Trudeau, this day would not have come where we can stand here and not just have a site, not just have an agreement on what's going to be here, but have the funding that is so important that now allows the community to get on with raising its money. And of course, I want to just pay tribute in conclusion to the remarkable accomplishment of the board of directors uh, that uh, from that very first meeting, one of the first things that was done was to form a board of directors that was representative of the, of the entire community. And this is no criticism. Every community that we have in this wonderful city that is blessed as it is with so many different communities is, is in turn uh, consisting of, uh, of subsets and subgroups and different people from different facets of those communities. And to pull it all together uh, and make sure that that board of directors could make this happen is a testament to this community and to its determination to make sure they had a place like this where they can, yes, uh, commemorate and, and celebrate the culture and all that, but also uh, act as a place where we can bring all kinds of Torontonians and Canadians together. Again, I'm always happy when I can come to these events where all governments have worked together to achieve great things. And we're doing it day after day. And long may we continue to do so, because that's what the people that we serve expect of us. That's what they expect of us. They don't expect that much, but they do expect us to work together. And it's such a pleasure to work with a community like the Tamil community, which has brought blessings to this city and to this country every single day since the first Tamil uh, person arrived here. So thank you very much. And uh, let's get on with getting this thing built. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. The mayor is no stranger to the Tamil community. He's been a friend for many, many years. The mayor was thinking about a Tamil community center before he was even mayor. And so it was no surprise that when he heard the community was finally ready to figure out how to make this happen, he showed up at the first community town hall and offered his support and the city's support. And his office was the very first meeting this board had. His confidence in the Tamil community and supporting us through land is what helped the board kickstart this project and get the confidence from the other governments. So thank you, Mayor, for your words today and your support over many months. I now would like to invite Minister Blair to say a few words. Thank you very much, Kitarama, and I will take it to heart um, for comment that I'll offer a few words. Um, it is a great pleasure to, to actually be here today with you. Um, we all recognize that investing in community, cultural, and recreational infrastructure is essential to creating inclusive and sustainable neighborhoods. You know, we talk about celebrating our diversity, but we have to nurture and support our diversity as well. And and the the investment that we have are making here today, and it's been it's been spoken of already that that so many of, of our elected representatives from all three orders of government are here today, and I take the opportunity to acknowledge the deputy prime minister, our premier, and the mayor, and all of our colleagues in all orders of government. But the reason that we are all here today is an acknowledgement and a celebration of the Tamil community in Canada. The Tamil community in Canada is one of the largest diasporas of Tamil people anywhere in the world. And we acknowledge and recognize today how important the Tamil community has become to our city and to our country. I think it's also important that we take the opportunity today as, as has been done by, by the previous speakers to acknowledge the importance of advocacy and leadership within the community. I wanna also take the opportunity to, to thank and congratulate the Tamil Community Center Board of Directors for their extraordinary advocacy, their relentless pursuit. Of this, of this hub. I also want to acknowledge um, the, the role that other leaders have played in, in, in bringing this forward. Um, I should take the opportunity to, to acknowledge the colleagues in which I've joined. I've referenced the Deputy Prime Minister, Christian Freeland, 
Um, I'm also joined today by Minister Mary Ng, by, by uh, MP Sorbera and MP uh, Zahid, um, all of whom represent significant Tamil communities um, in our jurisdictions. But I, if I may, I would like to take an opportunity, as some have already done, in acknowledging um, the incredible leadership, advocacy, and the relentless support that he provides to the Tamil community and how he has worked, how, how, how he has helped all of us, and certainly for me, for over 15 years in a number of different capacities, Gary Ananda Sangari has been a friend, a mentor, an advisor, and an inspiration for his unrelenting pursuit of support for the Tamil community. And, and I want to take the opportunity to, to not just acknowledge him, but to thank him for his, for his incredible leadership on, on this issue. Um, and, and, and finally, if I may, this is also a little personal for me to stand in this field. I raised my family just down the street. I, I was born and raised in Scarborough and I, and I lived in this community for very many years. The, the Tamil Community Center that will be built on this extraordinary place is not just going to be a cultural and linguistic center for the Tamil community. It's for all of the people of this country and all of the people of this community, a place where we can come and learn ab about the extraordinary accomplishments in history, culture and language of the Tamil people. But it's a, it's a place where we can come and truly live up to our values of diversity in this country, where we can all come together and be together. That is the strength of Canada, it's the strength of our communities. I'm very proud to stand with all of my, with my colleagues um, representing all three orders of government. We are here to express our, our respect, our support, and to acknowledge the contribution the Tamil Canadians make to, to the incredible fabric of this diverse country. And we want to also to, to express to you our gratitude and our ongoing support for this important initiative. Thank you very much. Thank you, Minister Blair. I would now like to invite Minister Ng to say a few words. Hi there, everyone. It is uh, really terrific to be here today. Um, I'm the member of parliament for Markham Thornhill, which is just north of Steeles. So I am a friend and a neighbor of Scarborough. It is terrific to be here with my terrific colleagues in the Deputy Prime Minister, in Ministers Blair and uh, my MP colleagues, as well as Premier Ford and, uh, and Mayor Tory and all of our colleagues at all levels of government. But maybe the point that I will make is really about um, the friend and neighbor part. I have a very large and wonderful diaspora of um, Tamil Canadians who uh, alongside Gary have really helped teach me and our community about uh, those very values of diversity and inclusiveness and the greatness of community when we all can come together and we all have a place where we can learn and where we can share and where we can celebrate and where we can tackle some of the very, very difficult um, difficult histories in, uh, in, in, in our communities. And, uh, and I just want to personally express my heartfelt thank you to the wonderful Tamil Canadian community here in Scarborough, but in the greater Toronto area, including in my riding of Markham Thornhill, who has just done so much to bring people together. And as other speakers have said before me, this is really um, the dream and the wonder of Canada. This is multiculturalism at its best. This is a board of directors through their incredible efforts um, in community, in building community, in bringing in the young people's voices, the seniors' voices, the voices of the entrepreneurs and dreaming what is possible that is going to stand here. And I was saying to my colleagues um, that I can't wait until we are back here again on this site where we are putting a shovel in the ground or we are cutting a ribbon, but most importantly, where we can witness directly the community, the Tamil Canadian com community coming together in, in learning and in celebrating the historic language having a museum that recognizes 
um, the past and provides future learning, where families can gather on special occasions, where, um, where young people can be here playing on this field, where sport and recreation and culture, and in doing so, bring so many parts of the diverse community that is here in Scarborough, but around us into this community and where that sharing continues and continues, as Gary said, this is for the next generation and the generations beyond. And this is the dream of Canada. This is the dream of the greater Toronto area. And, um, and I'm just so proud to have the opportunity to be a part of uh, this announcement today. And I agree with others who have said this so well, which is we all, we all serve Canadians when we all work together and Canadians expect that of us. And you can count on us to keep doing that and throughout this pandemic, we have seen such incredible challenges for Canadians, for small businesses, and we have all risen to lend a helping hand to one another. We have said this often from day one, we're going to be there for Canadians throughout this pandemic onto this road to economic recovery. It is my honor to be able to serve as both a member of parliament for Clark and Thornhill, but also as Canada's small business minister and the international trade minister and working with colleagues like our Deputy Prime Minister and, uh, and with our colleagues at the city level and at the provincial level to do one thing, to help Canadians get through this and get on that road to recovery so that we can become roaring back. And a final word to my very good friend and colleague, Gary Nandesangri. Gary, I don't think, um, uh, I, think I think it's perfectly good for, for us to keep saying this, which is thank you for your incredible leadership in the community and for teaching all of us and, um, and sharing with us your knowledge and bringing the community together, particularly on the history that is of the Tamil Canadians who are here today, on the journey that we must all continue, on holding Sri Lanka accountable and lending our voices as Canada internationally so that there is accountability. I can't thank you enough for your uh, tremendous leadership and to the board of the Tamil Canadian uh, Community Centre. Thank you for your leadership. This is leadership. Thank you. Thank you, Minister Eng. I'd now like to invite Minister Surma to the podium. Good morning, everyone. I am pleased to be here today as Ontario's Minister of Infrastructure and to deliver great news for the Tamil community in and around the Toronto and Greater Toronto Area. I'd like to start by thanking Premier Doug Ford and MPP BJ Thanagaslam for their earlier remarks. MPP Thanagaslam, you have truly been a tireless advocate for this project. You and MPP Logan Kenapathy are incredible champions for the Tamil community. Today, we are announcing that the Ontario government is investing more than 11.9 million for the new construction of a new Tamil Community Centre in Toronto. Today's investment will contribute to the construction of a new multi-purpose facility. It will help meet the needs of many local residents and in particular, the diverse Tamil community in the GTA. This new community centre will include outdoor playing fields, a gym, and will help improve access to recreational opportunities for the community. A new library, museum, auditorium, and multi-purpose rooms will provide much needed space for educational and cultural events. From day one, our government has been committed to supporting the people of Scarborough and the Tamil community. Today's announcement is in addition to our recent infrastructure investments in Scarborough and across the GTA. In May, we announced over 2.3 million in provincial funding for renovations and upgrades to the Chinese Culture Center of Greater Toronto. In June, we announced over 22.3 million to support the construction of the Bridal Town Neighborhood Center of Community and over 913,000 
to upgrades for the Tam Heather Curling Club right here in Scarborough. Our government continues to invest in the infrastructure needs of Scarborough and all of Ontario. As the COVID-19 pandemic has highlighted, investments in the health and wellness of Ontarians is more critical than ever. Supporting cultural and recreational infrastructure projects like the one we're announcing today helps to protect our communities, making them stronger, healthier, and safer. I'm delighted that residents will benefit from our joint investments. Together, we're creating healthy and safe communities across Ontario through our federal provincial partnership. I would like to thank members of the Tamil Community Centre, our municipal and federal partners, and my provincial colleagues for your contributions to this meaningful project. Again, many thanks to MPP Vijay Thanagasalam for his leadership. Thank you. Thank you, Minister Surma. I'd now like to invite MPP Karnabadi to say a few words. Good morning, everyone. Thank you to Deputy Prime Minister of Finland. Thank you to Premier Ford, our Minister, Pumping Pastor Jakinga Surma. My federal and provincial colleagues, Mayor Tory, and the local councillor, Michael B. Today, announcement is a truly historic. My friends, 30 years ago, I still remember more than 30 years ago, the day my father told me, Don't come home. And I felt everything I had to behind to create a better life here in Canada. At the height of the Civil War, Tamil community experienced traumas that still haunt us to this day. The discrimination and fear for our life was so heavy that we had to flee our homeland. When we all arrived in Canada, like me, we came thinking that we lost almost everything, almost everything, including our loved ones. But we held one, one to one thing. We held on to one thing, our hopes and dreams, our hopes and dreams. Here we are, collectively on this momentous day, living dreams in reality. Today in Canada, we are recognizing and honoring the richness of our native Tamil culture. And not only that, we are investing in preserving what we fought so hard to keep. This is the essence of how beautiful Canada is, and why so many now Canada of the home. The Tamils are a resilient community who have willpower to overcome challenges thrown in our way. When I got elected as a Markham City Councillor 13 years ago, I realized that there was a big service gap in the southeast part of the Markham, southeast part of the Markham community. I realized there's a big service gap there is a, some, the kids are growing up without close accessibility to recreational activities, swimming pool, libraries, and place to care for to turn seniors in my community. After eight years of advocacy, hard work, budget allocation, and continuous support from the Markham Council, we were able to build a state-of-the-art community center in the southeast part of the Markham, which is not far away from here. You could walk from here. The reason I'm mentioning this, because I understand firsthand how important this future community center is, especially for children, youth, families, and seniors, are we are improving the quality of life of the people, all of the people. It was intent that the summer community center be a dynamic, innovative, multi-purpose, and non-denominational facility incorporating spaces and services to help address and cater the current and growing needs of the diverse community in this part of the area. The aim was to also reflect the community commitment to creating a safer, 
accessible and environmentally sustainable space. This community center will serve as a hub for the Tamil in VTA. Through the Tamil Community Center, we are laying a strong foundation for a rich cultural community. We are building a healthy community through the building. We are not just building the building. We are building the building to build the community. Special thank you to our Premier, Ford, Minister Soma, and my colleagues for the unwavering support as the province of Ontario investing $11.9 million for this community center. Thank you to our federal and municipal partners for your support, and especially thank you to Minister, so many ministers to thank, but special thank you to, to Minister Rod Smith, former finance minister. Prime minister. Premier, give your marching order, somebody got to sign the check. And uh, for his unwavering support, and so many ministers to thanks. And so many MPPs, my colleagues, are giving a supporting letter to make this event, this community center reality. So finally, give me a big shout out to the board of directors, TCC, Siva Vimala Chandran, Kirtana Trang, Nitra Rotrico, Niran Chan, Vidhu Ramachandran, Kramla Kedisaran, Dr. Lambo, Dr. Sanda, and volunteer for their tireless hard work and advocacy for bringing this community center to this stage. I'm proud to be a part of the province that continued to honor our diversity and culture and heritage today here in Ontario. We continue to love, cherish, appreciate, and invest in what is meant to be done. Thank you for everyone that was part of this day. And if you don't mind, I'd like to say a few words in Tamil with your permission. Elarikum anpa na kalle vana kengal. Ontario village Tamil center Adi Alangal. Tamil Nadi Alanga amyapu kanda wal Tamil galin varla tiloru mai kala. Ida itte Tamil raagiya naam ane varam kerme pada bande. Naam langa ilande, ura lande, ura bugala ilande, ura magala ilande. Kanada ko agadiya vandalum naam ondo matte mulakka mal vando. Adha nengal diya naam bikegalam kana bugala. Ini yang kami dekat dengan orang orang itu pun otomatik kita tidak dianggiar mereka. Kami dekat dengan orang orang itu, ini adalah sel pelajar, apabila sel pelajar terang itu membeli pada pelajar. Kami dekat dengan orang orang itu, ini adalah sel pelajar, apabila sel pelajar terang itu membeli pada pelajar. Kami dekat dengan orang orang itu, ini adalah sel pelajar, apabila sel pelajar terang itu membeli pada pelajar. Kami dekat dengan orang orang itu, ini adalah sel pelajar, apabila sel pelajar terang itu membeli pada pelajar. Kami dekat dengan orang orang itu, ini adalah sel pelajar, apabila sel pelajar terang itu membeli pada pelajar. Kami dekat dengan orang orang itu, ini adalah sel pelajar, apabila sel pelajar terang itu membeli pada pelajar. Kami dekat dengan orang orang itu, ini adalah sel pelajar, apabila sel pelajar terang itu membeli pada pelajar. Kami dekat dengan orang orang itu, ini adalah sel Ini dan saya, sudah mulai agak jenuh ya proklamasi ini, kesalusi ini, Syria market ini, Syria Toronto ini kondo dan dengan dar, ada yang kondo, anggota saya Toronto ini dia, dia support tu, anggota dia ada ram, anggota dia, anggota dia Tamil, arah Syria Bali dia, mungkin level account online, municipal, provincial, and federal lah Tamil, Tamil anggota dia, Tamil anggota dia, Tamil anggota dia, leaders, elected leaders ini dia. Anda anda betul, orang 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 sangat dan India paling enak macam. Ini otomia yang orang mempunyai nasihat pada kalau ini kalau tuh, thora mende pada khatiran mana betul kalai, nama para udah bandu bandu valti, pura pura green, nandri, mana kem, thank you. Thank you, MPP Kanabadi. I'd now like to invite Siva Vimala Chandran and Nezra Rodrigo to provide remarks on behalf of the Tamil Community Center Board of Directors. Siva is the chair of our board who not only keeps the rest of the board on task, but has taken on the heavy lifting of the development process. Siva will speak first, providing remarks in English. Nezra is a board member who focuses on community relations and developing the programming considerations for the project. Nedra will come up to the podium, second, providing remarks in Tamil. Hello, everyone. Tamil Sangam poetry claims that all villages are our village and all people are our family. Well, here in Canada, more Tamils have made a home than anywhere else in the world and the villages or cities where we live have become our villages. 
That's why it means so much that we have found a home for a Tamil community center here in the GTA. And why today is such a great day for all of us. So on behalf of the board of directors for the Tamil community center, thank you to the federal and provincial governments for coming together to invest $26.3 million for this critical project. And thank you to the city of Toronto for identifying the site for the community center. Today, we have truly become a part of this great village and we find ourselves surrounded by you, our family, because all people are family. We know we have a responsibility to care for the people around us. So thank you to the indigenous communities who have met with us on this project. We will always treat your home with respect. We will always acknowledge the history of your traditional territories and care for the place that you have entrusted to us. Thank you to the Huron Wendat and the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation. We look forward to learn from you and to working together uh, to make this project a success for all of us. Many of you will know that Scarborough is home to the highest number of working poor in the greater Toronto area, which is why Scarborough needs a neighborhood improvement area to streamline services to the people who need them most. Many of our board members have lived and grown up in these neighborhoods, and they know only too well the barriers to socioeconomic mobility their communities have faced, the lack of representation of their poverty or their needs in an analytical data that drive the creation of neighborhood improvement areas has very often left them stranded. Today, we can begin to address those needs too. The Tamil Community Center will help streamline services, not only to the Tamil community living in the neighborhood, but also to our other family members, to indigenous, black, Caribbean, South Asian, and other communities. The TCC will offer Scarborough families the recreational and cultural spaces that they need, such as an auditorium, a gymnasium, multi-purpose rooms, a community, library, archives, and a museum. And we hope that Tamils living in Durham and Markham will also use this space too. This is an ambitious plan. Together, we are building an approximately 37,000 square foot multi-purpose facility that will be a living physical symbol of our community consultations, our Tamil heritage, environmental sustainability, indigenous placemaking, and local resident amenities. This is a historic day. Today, 120 community organizations and human service providers have come together and endorsed this project and its vision. And this is a result of many years of hard work. We thank our community for trusting us with this important project. Thanks to our volunteers, our pledgers that have given people uh, their time, expertise and support to us. All villages are our village, all people are our family, Thank you to our village, to our family, for working with us to build this space where for generations to come, we can celebrate what it means to be Tamil and remember how thankful we are to be able to learn from and grow with other communities in Canada too. We look forward to continuing the work with the community and the diverse communities in this neighborhood to continue building this project. Thank you all on behalf of this. உலகில் வேறெங்கும் இல்லாத அளவிற்கு புலம்பெயர்ந்த தமிழ் மக்கள் இங்கு கனடாவில் குடியேறி இருக்கிறார்கள் நாம் வசிக்கும் ஊர்களும் நகரங்களும் இப்போது எமது ஊர்களாக இருக்கின்றன ஆகவே டொரோண்டோ பெருநகரில் நமது தமிழ் சமூக மையத்துக்கு ஒரு இருப்பிடம் அமைந்தது குறிப்பிடத்தக்க விடயமாக கருதுகிறோம் அதனாலே இந்த நாளில் எமக்கு மிக முக்கியமான நாள் என்று நம்புகிறோம் இந்த இன்றியமையா திட்டத்துக்கு எமக்கு இருபத்தி ஆறு புள்ளி மூன்று மில்லியன் நிதியுதவி வழங்கிய மத்தியம் மற்றும் மாகாண அரசுகளுக்கு தமிழ் சமூக மைய இயக்குனர் வாரியம் சார்பாக எமது நன்றியை தெரிவிக்கிறோம் இந்த திட்டத்திற்கான கடத்தை தேர்வு செய்த டொரோண்டோ நகரத்துக்கு எமது நன்றியை தெரிவிக்கிறோம் இன்று உண்மையிலேயே இந்த பெரும் ஊரின் ஒரு பகுதியாகிவிட்டோம் அது மட்டுமின்றி இந்த தருணத்தில் உங்களால் அதாவது எமது குடும்பத்தால் சூழப்பட்டிருக்கிறோம் யாவரும் கேளீர் என்று நம்பும் நாம் எமது அயலவர்களை கவனிக்க வேண்டிய பொறுப்புள்ளவர்கள் என்பதையும் நன்கு அறிவோம் இந்த திட்டத்துக்காக 
எம்முடன் இணைந்து ஆலோசித்த ஆதிக்குடி மக்களுக்கும் எமது மனமார்ந்த நன்றிகளை தெரிவிக்கின்றோம் எப்போதும் உங்கள் இல்லத்தை மதிப்புணர்வுடன் நடத்துவோம் உங்கள் பாரம்பரிய பிரதேசங்களின் வரலாற்றை ஏற்றுக்கொண்டு எங்களுக்கு ஒப்படைத்த இந்த இடத்தை பராமரிப்போம் பூரான் வெந்தாட் குடிமக்களுக்கும் கிரெடிட் முதல் தேசத்தின் மிசிசாகா குடிமக்களுக்கும் எமது நன்றிகளை தெரிவிக்கின்றோம் உங்களிடமிருந்து தொடர்ந்து கற்றுக்கொள்ளவும் இந்த திட்டம் எங்கள் அனைவருக்கும் வெற்றிகரமாக அமைய ஒன்றிணைந்து செயல்படுவோம் நாம் ஆவலுடன் எதிர்பார்க்கின்றோம் டொரோண்டோ மாநகரிலே ஸ்காபரோ நகரில் தான் மிக கூடுதலான உள்ளைக்கு மேலை மக்கள் வசிக்கிறார்கள் என்று இங்கு பலரும் நன்கு அறிவித்தார் அதனால் மக்களுக்கு சேவைகளை சீராக்க சுற்றுப்புற மேம்பாட்டு பகுதி ஒன்று ஸ்காபரோவுக்கு மிகவும் தேவைப்படுகிறது எங்கள் குழு உறுப்பினர்கள் பலர் இதே சுற்றுப்புறங்களில் பலர்ந்து வசித்து வந்திருக்கிறார்கள் தங்கள் சமூகங்கள் எதிர்கொண்ட சமூக போரா பொருளாதார வளர்ச்சிக்கான தடைகளை அவர்கள் நன்கு அறிவார்கள் சுற்றுப்புற மேம்பாட்டு பகுதிகளை உருவாக்க தூண்டும் பகுப்பாய்வு தரவுகளில் அவர்களது வறுமையும் தேவைகளும் வெளிப்படாத காரணத்தால் அவர்கள் தனித்து பின்தங்கி விடப்பட்டனர் இன்று அந்த தேவைகளை கருத்தில் கொண்டு செயற்பட தொடங்குகிறோம் சுற்றுப்புறங்களில் வசிக்கும் தமிழ் சமூகத்துக்கு மட்டுமல்லாமல் நமது பிற குடும்ப உறுப்பினர்களுக்கும் அதாவது பழங்குடி மக்கள் கருப்பினத்தவர் கரிபியன் தெற்காசிய மற்றும் பிற சமூகங்களுக்கான சேவைகளையும் சீராக இந்த தமிழ் சமூக மையம் உதவும் எமது தமிழ் சமூக மைய மையம் ஸ்காபரோவில் வசிக்கும் குடும்பங்களுக்கு தேவையான முக்கியமான சேவைகளான அரங்கு உடற்பயிற்சி கூடம் பல்நோக்கு பணியிடங்கள் அருங்காட்சியம் நூலகம் ஆகியவற்றை வழங்கும் இந்த மையத்தை தூரம் மற்றும் மார்க்கத்தில் வசிக்கும் தமிழர் உபயோகிப்பார்கள் என்றும் நம்புகிறோம் இது பெருங்கனவும் பேராவலும் நிறைந்த லட்சிய திட்டமாகும் முப்பத்தேழு ஆயிரம் சதுர அடி அளவான பல்நோக்கு வசதிகளை வழங்கும் இடத்தை நாங்கள் ஒன்றிணைந்து உருவாகின்றோம் நமது சமூக ஆலோசனைகள் நமது தமிழ் பாரம்பரியம் சுற்றுச்சூழல் நிலைத்தன்மை பழங்குடி மக்களுக்கான இடம்பதிப்பு மற்றும் உள்ளூர்வாசிகளின் வசதிகள் ஆகியவற்றின் உடலையும் உயிரையும் தாங்கும் சின்னமாக அது உருவாக்குகிறோம் வரலாற்று முக்கியத்துவம் பெற்ற நாள் இது இன்று இந்த திட்டத்திற்கும் அதன் நோக்கத்திற்கும் நூற்றி இருபது சமூக அமைப்புகளும் மனிதநல சேவை வழங்கினர்களும் ஒன்றிணைந்து ஒப்புதல் அளித்திருக்கிறார்கள் இது பல வருட கடின உழைப்பின் விளை விளைவாகும் இந்த முக்கியமான திட்டத்தை நம்பிக்கையோடு எங்களிடம் ஒப்படைத்த எங்கள் சமூகத்துக்கு எங்கள் மனமார்ந்த நன்றிகள் எங்கள் தொண்டர்களுக்கும் எங்களுக்கு கொடை உத்தரவாதம் அளித்தோருக்கும் மற்றும் எங்களுக்கு ஆதரவளிக்க தங்கள் நேரத்தையும் குணத்துவத்தையும் வழங்கிய பலருக்கும் நன்றி யாதும் ஊரே யாவரும் கேள்வி வரவிருக்கும் தலைமுறை முறைகளுக்கும் எமது தமிழ் அடையாளத்தை கொண்டாடவும் கனடாவில் உள்ள பிற சமூகங்களிடமிருந்து கற்றுக்கொள்ளவும் வளரவும் நாம் எவ்வளவு நன்றியுள்ளவர்களாக இருக்கிறோம் என்பதை நினைவு கொண்டு இந்த மையத்தை உருவாக்க எங்களுடன் பணியாற்றும் எங்கள் ஊருக்கும் எங்கள் குடும்பத்துக்கும் எங்கள் நன்றியை தெரிவிக்கிறோம் இந்த திட்டத்தை தொடர்ந்து கட்டியெழுப்ப எங்கள் சமூகத்துடனும் இந்த சுற்றுப்புறங்களில் வசிக்கும் பல்வேறு சமூகங்களுடனும் தொடர்ந்து பணியாற்ற ஆவலுடன் எதிர்பார்க்கிறோம் அனைவருக்கும் நன்றி வணக்கம் Thank you, Siva, and thank you, Nidra. That brings us to the end of today's announcement. Thank you, everyone. Today is a true celebration for the Tamil community and all Scarborough residents. With this provincial and federal funding, along with our partnership with the City of Toronto for this land, we can't wait to get shovels in the ground and the Tamil Community Center built. I hope to see you all at the groundbreaking and then the ribbon cutting over the next few years. Um, now, with the end of today's announcement, you can approach any of the speakers if you want any interviews and photos. Thank you.